TQQQ and SQQQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the time look analysis on the winner chart for TQQQ. We are in negative MACD territory. We're at oversold levels with the RSI. We're still below the 200 moving average, this green line, and that is at a price of $168.73. With the 4 hour chart, we are in negative MACD and approaching to oversold levels with the RSI. As with the daily chart, we remain in pause MACD, but we did see it diverge. As with the trade idea, my position size for it is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $152.93, and that is this range here. Uh, so target is at $164.80, and that is this range there. My stop loss is at $149.16. And as for SQQQ, on Friday, close above around 5.6%. With the 1R chart, we are in pause MACD and approaching to overbought levels with the RSI. With the 4R chart, we have reached to pause MACD and nearing overbought condition with the RSI. As we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we remain in negative MACD but we did see it converge. We're off of oversold levels with the RSI. As with the trade idea, my position size for it is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $6.14. And that is this range here. My sell target is at $6.62. And that is this range here. My stop loss is at $5.99. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. And as we're examining QQQQ, so TQQQ is a leveraged version of QQQQ, while SQQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQQ. So do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day of wicked trading, QQQQ has a 50% chance to climb between 0 to 2.5%. To the downside has a 41% chance to fall between 0 to negative 2.5%. And a 9% chance to fall between negative 2.5 to negative 5%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.